and welcome to the Capitus News Network. I'm Ryan Billions with tonight's feature story. It's hard to believe that an entire decade has passed since Capitus Financial was formed in 2001. Capitus has grown substantially in the last 10 years, and tonight we look back on its humble beginnings and remember the events that have contributed to the organization's phenomenal success. It was in January 2001 at the Chicago O'Hare Hilton, in a basement meeting room right next to the gym, that Capitus was born. Actually, it was a group of brokerage general agents who knew and respected each other and were on a bit of a rebound from the R.E. Lee Group, who joined together to organize Capitus. That initial group included Bill Davis, Bob Ogilvie, Charles Smith, Dan Dirks, Dave Wickersham, Fred Prell, George Gore, Jay Argomanes, Jim Tom and Mike Blair, Joe Sims, Keith Bangert, Mark Rushing, Michael Levin, Michael O'Brien, Ray and Matt Artigues, Richard Esterly, Rick and Kevin Lauer, Rod Binzak, Steve Gowers, and Tom Hall, and Nick Blicka. And Barry Litt and Dave Lina, Bill and Scott Simpson, and Vicki Wilson joined the group later in the year. They had never done anything like this before, but were determined to establish the premier life insurance brokerage firm in the nation by offering sophisticated, unbiased solutions. The group distinguished itself from others in the market through a set of rules and standards used to govern business by establishing territorial marketing areas, sharing a common broker-dealer, and focusing on national account marketing. As the organization started to come together, the members searched for a name that evoked the ideals of leadership, success, and class. They finally decided on Capitus Financial, derived from the Latin word capitalis, had a logo design, and Rod Binzak's agency in Jacksonville functioned as the first home office. Charles Smith was elected Capitus's first president, and as of March 8, 2001, Capitus Financial was officially up and running. The terrorist attacks of 9-11 shook the business, financial, and social structure of the United States. But Charlie's leadership, that of the founding partners and board, enabled Capitus to develop rapidly. By 2002, its first full year of operation, the partnership had expanded to the addition of Brian Van Winkle, Bo Graham, Bruce Hirsch, Harold Harris, Michael Fitzgerald, and Walton Dana Luff. Recognizing the need to manage Capitus' business activities and growth with a full-time centralized staff, the headquarters was moved to Minneapolis, and Blake Moore was hired as executive director. Capitus organized a large recruiting campaign that year, and board president Charles Smith, along with Blake Moore, set out on a series of road shows to pitch the Capitus story to carriers and national accounts. By the end of 2002, Capitus represented 13 carriers and entered into marketing agreements with 10 national accounts. By 2003, Capitus's growth was substantial. The number of territories nearly doubled to 47, and Capitus's footprint was truly national. At the annual meeting in Orlando, Capitus welcomed new core carriers, and the number of national accounts grew by 50% to 15. That year, Travelers was awarded Capitus's Rat Bastard Award when they backed out of supporting the AGA recruiting program. Despite this small setback, Capitus was proving itself as a legitimate business entity. By the following year, Capitus was hitting full stride with 49 territories and 18 national accounts. That year, Capitus instituted the gold and platinum fee structure that is still used today. Marketing efforts got a lift from former NFL quarterback Terry Bradshaw, who was featured in a promotional campaign. Programs were developed to focus on Capitus AGAs, who were fueling Capitus's growth. After serving two two-year terms as president, Charles Smith passed the leadership baton to Mark Rushing. Mark inspired increased partner involvement in Capitus, organizing the committee structure, and elevating Capitus's technical support capabilities through the Advanced Markets Network. Capitus celebrated its fifth birthday in 2005 with a partner meeting in Napa Valley. At this point, Capitus had established itself as a premier player in the life brokerage market. Capitus's leadership decided that recognition and reward for AGAs and brokers was necessary and desirable. So in 2006, Capitus held the first Summit Club event. In addition, the top AGAs, Capitus's Sales Leader of the Year, attended the first Slick Conference in Las Vegas. The Capitus organization was growing quickly and offered a unique opportunity for its partners, carriers, and national accounts alike. It was around this time that Bill Betts purchased Capitus's Washington, D.C.-based territory, and Ramon Lloveras succeeded Jay Argomanes in Puerto Rico. Tragically, founding partner Rod Binzak died unexpectedly in February 2007, but his leadership and life are still celebrated by his Capitus partners. 
Rod embraced Capitus's independent platform with gusto and had huge expectations for what this organization could become. Rod's approach to life was reflected in his dress. No tie, no socks. But when Rod did dress up, it was nothing but the best. Rod's laid-back, fun, and outgoing personality always made him the life of the party. He loved to organize fun get-togethers for his friends and family. How many of the people in this room had the honor of attending a Binzac clam bake or the Capitus Cafe? Rod often poked fun at himself and his Polish ancestry, and in particular his proclivity and insatiable desire to invest money in new sales initiatives. Rod claimed to be the only guy who could find a way to spend money in an elevator. Now, nearly a decade since its inception, Capitus's existence and success is due in part to the dedication, heart, and commitment that Rod Binzak gave to this organization. Also in 2007, the Summit Club was restructured from regional meetings to a national incentive trip to Santa Barbara, California. And the annual meeting in Marina del Rey was memorable due to an outbreak of food poisoning. The 2007 Slick Meeting in Quebec City featured the historical elegance of a 19th century costume ball. It was not all just fun and games and celebrations during this time, however, as Barry Litt became the third partner to serve as Capitus' president in 2007-2008. The financial community faced unprecedented challenges affecting businesses from Enron to AIG to travelers. While brokerage firms and even insurance companies reorganized, consolidated, or disappeared, Capitus' business was growing impressively. In 2007, Capitus developed its policy review platform. The Capitus Annuity Division was created in 2008, and Capitus' product and market specialties expanded to include long-term care, disability income, and life settlement divisions. Barry's presidency was driven by a simple but profound formula, consistent, compliant, organized, and productive. At the 2008 annual meeting in San Antonio, Bill Simpson became the first original Capitus partner to officially retire, and Scott Simpson became the first second-generation partner. Mark Rushing implemented a succession plan with Brian Latinovich, and Brian became a Capitus partner as president of Rushing Financial. Similarly, Steve Zube and Keith Bangert entered a purchase agreement for Steve to ultimately own Interchange Brokerage. In 2009, Capitus returned to Tampa for its annual meeting and went on to Palm Beach later that spring for the Summit Club because the perfect storm of a flu epidemic and drug-related violence made the originally scheduled Mexico venue less attractive. The Capitus Professional Development Series began in 2009 and continued throughout the following year. With more than a dozen meetings, Capitus acquired an interest in Capitus Quick Life during 2009 and 2010 launched Capitus Distributors Incorporated, a sales subsidiary focused on the institutional marketplace. Capitus mourned the death of Jim Ton Blair in 2010, but his influence as a businessman, athlete, and community leader will always be significant to Capitus and the Blair Agency. As a founding partner of Capitus, Jim Ton was an active participant of the Board of Directors. He was integral to bringing on several national accounts, and Jim's professionalism, expertise, and dedication made him a strong leader and staunch supporter of Capitus Financial. A state amateur golf champion, U.S. amateur golf tournament competitor, Jim Tom was one of the best to play the game of golf, and the Capitus partners often flocked to him for lessons and advice. Jim Tom fought a long and courageous battle with multiple sclerosis for many years. He lost that battle on December 13, 2010. Jim Tom will be fondly remembered as a leader, a mentor, and a good friend. Michael Levin presided over Capitus in 2009 and 2010. He led the organization through a stressful and expensive legal challenge in which Capitus ultimately prevailed. Under Michael's leadership, 2010 also brought the combination of the Sales Leader of the Year and Summit Clubs into a single incentive award trip, the Sales Leader Summit, that was held in Costa Rica in 2010. Sales Leader Summit qualification grew significantly in 2011 when the Mexican violence and flu threats dissipated, thanks to the assistance of the Mexican authorities. This allowed Capitus to return to the Mayacoba Resort in Playa del Carmen. Capitus Financial LLC became Capitus Financial Incorporated in 2011. AGAs assumed the title of Sales Vice Presidents. A group of partners in SVPs formed the Business Insurance Specialist Group. By 2011, Capitus had weathered the storms of economic downturns, banking and mortgage crises, financial firm restructuring, even elaborate Ponzi schemes, and the Madoff disaster. But one of the most difficult events to endure was the sudden and unexpected death of former Capitus president and current board member Barry Litt in June 2011. 
Barry Litt was an influential partner and helped steer Capitus towards continued growth and achievement over the entire decade of Capitus' existence. Barry joined the board of directors in January 2003 and in 2007 was elected president. Barry's favorite motto was part of the fabric and foundation of Capitus. Have fun, make money, no jerks allowed. Barry knew many, many languages, even in a few different dialects. Barry often demonstrated his expertise by proposing exotic toasts each time Capitus had an event that involved food and drink. Looking back on Barry's life and his dedication to Capitus, we realize that without his enthusiasm and leadership, Capitus would not be where it is today. As Capitus approaches its 10th birthday with a larger partner, SVP, and larger employee staff population than ever before, more active national accounts than ever before, more preferred carriers and a more robust product line than ever before, recognition as the market leader in institutional life insurance, the largest privately held life brokerage firm in the industry, with even greater, more exciting opportunities ahead. The foundation of success Capitus has built over the last decade, and its ability to adapt and grow in the future, means that the future is bright and clear and rewarding for Capitus Financial, its partners, employees, associates, and customers. Since 2001, Capitus Financial has been the premier life insurance brokerage in the nation, offering sophisticated, unbiased solutions and unparalleled service and support. It's what Capitus does. It's who Capitus is. Thank you for joining me tonight. I hope to see you again soon as Capitus celebrates future successes. I'm Ryan Billions. Good night.